afternoon Hot Potters and welcome to another helping of Mr H's Hot Pot. Today I'm uh, doing a little bit of a request for Doc's, Doc Smelly Fella, I think he's actually called. And he said, why don't I actually come and have a look at uh, the former Noble Explosive Plant. Stroke ICI, Stroke Roborite, Stroke Orsia, depending what you know it by. Which lays near Gathurst and Shevington. Um, apparently they're now building houses on this site. But there is a, a woods and he believes that there's many little bunkers and other bits and pieces in there. So I've come today and we're just going to have a little look. Just passing through the fence here. And we're now on this site. Now, this site was, uh, was earmarked, all these woods as you can see in front of you, was earmarked to be ripped up and houses built on all of this. However, David Bellamy, the renowned botanist, he, uh, he stepped in and sort of championed keeping this as an eco area. It's to be hoped that eventually these woods will be opened up properly to the public when building's complete. Um, but we'll have to wait and see really. Well, let's have a little walk down this path shall we? Go on on your way Lucy. Now apparently Roborat was like a city within a city. It produced explosives on this site for about 100 years as I've just said and security was quite tight on here at one time. I should imagine during the uh, the troubles in the 70s and 80s, the Irish uh, troubles, you wouldn't have been able to get anywhere near this. And in fact anybody from Wigan, if you think back, does anybody know anybody who worked here? And the answer usually is no. I think it was probably briefed as they do with nuclear installations not to advertise the fact that they work here. Now one feature that used to run over here was a narrow gauge railway that linked up to the main line and it was sort of ran all around the site and what we've actually found is a little bit of it there we go that's all that's left just a little bit of railway there narrow gauge just thrown in the woods here we are at one of the gates that uh, that led from out of the Roborite Greaves wood into Otters wood that gate looks like it's not been used in a long time this site is, com is actually huge. I can't believe how big it is. And it's sort of in a, as you can probably see from this panoramic view, it's in a natural enclave. You know, if you try to get through from Otter's Wood over there, you've got to come down a ravine and up to get into it. So it's, uh, it's like a natural fortress. The canal is just over there as well. And that sort of uh, keeps it naturally fenced in. I'm just going to go down one of these ravines now and make our way out on the other side. Just making our way through here. I'm going to head back now to the... Thanks Lisa. We're just going to head back and make our way towards the fence again and get back through. As I said, there's not really a lot to see in here now. For anyone who, who wants to come and do a little bit of urban exploration, it's just, it's just woodland basically. My own honest opinion is they'll probably deny the public access into these woods purely on the grounds of it's a natural habitat and they don't want the wildlife disturbed which is a bit of a cop out really. I've now come out outside the perimeter again. I just spotted through the trees a little house in there. Um, I think it's been uh, used as a security hut. Whether it was used as a security hut when the, um, the plant was in operation I don't know. But I thought it's better not to approach it too close because obviously you're way inside and there are notices up saying no trespassing. Although we all know the stupid English law on trespassing. And here we have one of the original Imperial Ind Chemical Industries PLC notices. Uh, that's telling you about the Explosives Act 1875 and what can happen if you're caught on, found on this site and caught. Uh, no doubt a constable would have been summoned and you would have... Uh, you would have found yourself explaining yourself to him. Another structure that appears to be original to this art is just in between them two trees there as you're looking through that diamond of the chain link fence. I don't know if you can see it. It looks, it appears to be like a great big, a great big shed of some description. Um, on the style of like the Swiss type cabins. What it was used for I don't know. There's a road just beyond that. And uh, unfortunately the building site is very close to it, so I'm not going to venture in any further. Another shot there, a bit closer of the uh, one of the original structures that's left. I'd love to be able to go right up close to it, but you just can't risk it, because if you can see through those trees there, they're actually 
building there where nature meets urban now at the vicarage road end of the site and as you can see construction is uh, is well underway well there we have it folks the old Roborite site now being turned over to housing now, I've got to admit it wasn't what I, I thought it was going to be there was no hidden bunkers or uh, labyrinths or any railway tracks or any of that we found very little evidence of the site's former use to be honest it's, uh, it's now just one great big building site just connected by an old dirt road which we couldn't get to because obviously we would have been spotted so that's it Doc Smelly fella I hope you enjoyed this video because this one was for you so until the next time from me and the girls bye bye for now